Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I am just going to be doing whatever the hell I want. <laughs> I don't really have anything planned, but I just want to put on some makeup. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna grab whatever looks good to me. Honestly, I just wanna feel some glam in my life today. I mean, I don't know where this look is gonna go, but we'll see. I've got my, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Oh. Go Vikes. I've got my Vikings shirt on to, to honor the NFL draft today. Very exciting for me. I would say makeup and sports fans don't necessarily correlate, but they do for me. <laughs> I've been missing sports so much. I'm gonna stop babbling. Let's just get into makeup right away. I'm gonna take off my glasses. As always, we're gonna start with the Benefit Professional. Go right in with the Milk Hydro Grip. Oh, as I was saying, okay. If you don't know, I am an actor. I went to school for musical theater. I had a minor in dance. I'm definitely a creative person, but that doesn't mean I can't like sports. <laughs> I always liked sports when I was a kid, but I was never passionate about it. And now in the last three years, I've become a huge, huge football and baseball fan. I started working at a restaurant and I made some really good lifelong friends. And one of them is really into sports. And he kind of introduced me to a bunch of his sports friends and now I'm really good friends with them. And it just has become like a really nice community activity. And it's become something that I really enjoy. It's all very exciting to me as somebody who is coming at it as more of an adult to discover all of these intricacies of the sport is just really, really fun. And it's something I get to share with my dad. So we'll like watch the games over the phone together. It's something we can really connect on. Yeah, I just love it. And I was so excited for baseball season to start. Like my friends and I were talking about it constantly. It, we just were itching with anticipation and now it's more or less canceled. So having the NFL draft is something nice to look forward to. And who knows, maybe one day the Vikings will win the Super Bowl. Maybe. And I am using the Dose of Colors Concealer in 08. Buff that out as usual. Remember that Kylie powder that I wanted to use again? Well, today's the day. Pat that all over my under eye. And I'm using it with products that I already know I love. So if something is off, I'll know that it's the powder. It feels good. I put it on 30 seconds ago, so <laughs> it's gonna need a time test. It's gonna need a wear test, but so far so good. What do I wanna use next? This is the Alexa Ren X Color Pop Bronzer Highlighter Duo. I honestly don't think it's available anymore, but I got it because Jaclyn Hill recommended it and I love her. It's pretty orangey. I literally never use this highlight because it's super gold and definitely for darker skin tones. So that would lead me to believe that the bronzer is also for darker skin tones, but it's barely used and I've had it for a really long time, which tells me that I probably didn't like it the first time I used it, but we're gonna retry it because you never know. Okay, so far I don't hate it. It's definitely a little more on the orangey side than what I'm used to. So that indicates to me that it probably looks better on somebody with a tan or with a deeper skin tone than mine, but I still like it. It still works. I still own it, so I might as well use it. I think that will be a really nice bronzer for the summertime, if I can ever leave. <laughs> because if I can't leave, I'm never gonna get a tan. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick little contour. gonna fill in the eyebrows just a little bit and I really have not been keeping up with my eyebrows so they look a bit of a hot mess but let's do and we are done do you think this is what other beauty youtubers do is clean off their palettes before they show them because not everyone's palettes can be clean like come on I found a little Morphe eyeshadow palette while I was moving that I bought and basically never used 
So we're going to dip into it a little bit. I remember really liking it, so I don't know why I didn't use it. And it's got a really beautiful mirror in it. That is dirty. Surprise, surprise. I'm going to go in with this purple called Rich Girl. Purple, Vikings. Very appropriate. I was going to go for subtle today, but this might, might not be subtle. So I'm just going to put it in my crease and see where we go. I did put bronzer in my crease beforehand. So we do have a little bit of a transition shade in there already. But if I need to dip into another palette for one, because there isn't really a neutral in here, which is an oversight. Yeah, so we're going to do a halo. Not sure where the halo is going to go, but that's the shape we're going to put it in. So I'm going to bring it into the inner corner of the eye and then into the crease and then around the other corner. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go into Hidden Gem, which is a darker purple, but it's also got some glitter in it. And I am going to put it on the, both of the corners. But, ooh, pretty. Oh, I just finished rewatching This Is Us and I already miss it. I love that show so much. I know that's like definitely a popular opinion. <laughs> Lots of people love that show, but like, I don't know. Their family is nothing like my family. Like most, it, their family is unlike most families, but they just remind me so much of how much I love my family. Even if we don't see eye to eye all the time, like family is number one. And I live really far away from my family. So it's nice to have that reminder because they're so important to me. As much as I don't want to be like Kevin Pearson, I love him and I would love to one day be a big movie actor who can take care of his family and fly back and forth all the time and just like be there for them. So yeah, I feel like I identify with him a lot. <laughs> I feel like I am definitely the Kevin Pearson of my family, <laughs> which is both cringeworthy and beautiful. I'm thinking about starting little fires everywhere. I've had a lot of friends recommend that show to me and I love Reese Witherspoon. Like who doesn't? Carrie Washington, amazing. So like, I can't imagine I'm not gonna like it. We are gonna bring it a little bit into the crease, but very lightly just to deepen that part up just a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy. Minnesota Vikings inspired. <laughs> Can't wait for football season. But first, can I have baseball season back? Like, please. I was looking so forward to it. I've read some things that say the MLB is thinking about just doing a fanless season where the games still go, but people can't go to the games. So they'll just play them on television. And that is better than nothing. Like, please, I'm begging you. If anybody in power is watching this, please give me my baseball back. Okay, so I really don't wanna cover up that dark purple because I think it's so beautiful, but I'm gonna go in with just a slightly darker color. I actually think I like Flex better than Chocolate Diamond. So I'm gonna go in with Flex and I'm just going to very lightly try to darken up the crease and the corners. And I went down to a smaller brush. The smaller the eyeshadow brush, the more control you're gonna have over where you place your product. If I don't like where I place something, I'll just take a fluffier brush and just go over it and it'll blend out. And I can already tell that this eyeshadow palette is a little bit on the older side because Morphe's newer eyeshadows are so much nicer. And these ones are a little bit harder to blend in there they are a little bit more patchy. I think I'm originally gonna go in with Purple Rain. I'm just gonna put it in the middle of the eye. We're gonna have a lot of blending to do from here, but I'm gonna use that same brush that I used to first apply the purples, and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. Okay, I really like how this is turning out so far, but I am gonna add some glitter to it, just to really spice it up. This is a Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadow. Um, in Kitten Karma, the only one I have. I'm just gonna put it right on top, 
not covering things up, but just right in the center. And this will definitely have to get blended out. Okay, well, it looks nice, but I think maybe if I knew what it was gonna look like before, I would have stopped right before that. Cause it did kind of cover up that purple and I really loved that purple. So if you're recreating this at home, if you don't have that Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadow, don't worry because I think it looks better without it. I'm gonna add just a top layer of liquid eyeliner. I really do need to venture out into more blushes. So if you have a blush you really, really love, please let me know in the comments. I am going to go in with this Sephora blush. It is in Shame On You. <laughs> That's funny. Um, it's a matte blush and I've used it a couple times and I don't remember if I liked it or not. So we're gonna jump in. Okay, so far so good. It's a little less pinky than I wanted for this particular look, but we can work with it. It's nice and natural. I like the way it applied. It was really smooth. It wasn't chalky or patchy. It's looking good so far. And I know the Sephora blushes are cheap, so find a cheap blush. It's always a good thing. Okay, before we go into highlight, we're going to clean up that bottom contour a little bit. I really think this just makes a look look so much cleaner. And also, if you like the concept of not putting foundation on, this is a really nice way to get a little bit of extra coverage down here. You already have products sitting here. So cleaning this up, putting a little bit of residue product down here is just gonna give you some slight coverage without giving you any sort of cakiness. And like, I do have a little bit of redness and just some normal features on my face that you can see through because I don't put foundation on. And that doesn't bother me because I'm a normal human and I have a face and obviously it doesn't look like this all the time. So like, I don't mind that you can see my blemishes or my face, um, but I want it on my terms. <laughs> My freaking sideburn. I'm so sorry you have to witness that. Okay, on to a beautiful highlight. This is a classic. It's my refill because I went completely through one of them and I had to rebuy it. This is the Jouer highlight, but this is in Citrine. I hate that name. Citrine? Citrine? Uh, Citron? Oh, I don't know. But... Nonetheless, however you pronounce it, it is gorgeous. It's very fragile, so if you do buy it, beware that it might break on you. The last one I got completely shattered on me, but I still used it as long as I could, and I used the little crumbs, and it was totally worth it. I will say, though, this second time I got it, it's not as good as the first time I bought it. I feel like they may have tried to change the formula a little bit because it did break on so many people and it would like arrive at people's doorstep just shattered. But whatever they did to it, it's not as good as it was the first time around. It's still really beautiful. It's just not as good. I don't know. Tell me I'm wrong. I'd love to be wrong on this. Before that Jaclyn Hill highlight that I'm now newly obsessed with, this was the highlight that I always used for my brow bone and my inner corner. Okay, before we move on from the eyeshadow forever, I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to basically go in with the three main shadows that I already used. So I'm gonna, on a, the fluffiest brush, I'm gonna go in with that rich girl, the lighter of the purples. Make sure it connects with the top as well. We're gonna go in with that slightly more defined brush we used for the brown. Make sure all the brown is off. We're not doing brown yet. I'm gonna go in with the darker purple hidden gem. Going to make it a little bit tighter on the lash line. And then for that brown, I'm just going to take a definer brush. 
dip it in and just do it really tight on the lash line. I think we're ready for some spray. The last two steps, some mascara. I have obviously been using the same mascaras in every video. If you have a mascara you really love as well, please, please comment below what it is because I need to expand my mascara horizons. What lipstick do I want? Okay, we're gonna try this one. This is from ColourPop. It's their Ultra Satin Lip. This is in point zero. And I think this is a really beautiful brown. Mm. I wear this lip fairly often because I just oh, I love a brown lip. And I would say like half the time I'm like, oh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work with this look. And it almost always does. And the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip is their best formula. If you're looking to revamp your lip products and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I highly, highly recommend this formula. It's pigmented, but it's not drying. Their matte formula is really, really drying. And that's coming from someone who is really used to drying lipsticks. That is everything. <laughs> mm, I love this lip color so much. I'm gonna pop my glasses back on so I can see straight. Yes, they are probably going to have a glare on them. I apologize. I wonder how bad it is. Ooh, it's really bad. They're also lopsided, so maybe I'll take them off. <laughs> but that is everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment below. Thank you for indulging me and my Vikings fandom, my sports fandom. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me talk about sports and how much I miss them. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Let me know what teams you're missing. I know these things will be back one day and I'm very excited for that day. So in honor of the NFL draft, this is my completed look. I wasn't super thrilled about the way the eyeshadows performed. Again, I think if you buy a newer Morphe eyeshadow palette, it will work a lot better because I have had that one for a little while. Well, that's about all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Stay sane, stay safe. I didn't use both hands. Hold on. School Vikings win us the game. We even got our own theme song. Let's go, Mike's.